Hello and welcome to Beam NG Gravity Racing. Today we'll be finding out which planet has the best gravity for racing. All right, starting off, we got a nice little red truck here. Um, pretty common standing starting truck. I, you know, picked red because it goes faster. Um, yeah. So the first gravity we're gonna start off with is the sun. You know, power of the sun. Maybe I'll go super fast. And nope. Nope. I'm a pancake. All right. Uh, change of plan. I don't think this one's gonna pass. Uh, that's a DNF. Well, it was worth a shot. You never know. Good friction, though. <laughs> All right. Next, after a nice little reset, we're gonna have Jupiter. Um, Jupiter is what is it? Twenty-four point ninety-two for gravity. So let's go ahead and get this all set up here. All right, a little heavy. All right, low rider, loving it. Um, the front end's a little heavy. Got it. All right, here we go. And we're off. No issues so far. Definitely feel it's definitely grabbing the road pretty darn well. Taking the turn. Very nicely. It is a little bit slow with the gravity holding it back. Um, but the turns are just excellent. I feel like Jupiter might come in first here. So with this much friction, you're just not going to ever slip off the track. Okay, coming in the corners here. Very excellent hand handling. Got a nice big turn up here. No problem at that turn. All right. Nice straight stretch, gain some speed, followed by another turn. This one is pretty sharp. It handles it like a boss. Okay. Just a few more corners and about a 180. The final stretch. Not bad. A minute 42. All right. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Shall we uh, see what the next one has in store? It's Neptune with gravity of 11.15. All right. I am kind of a big fan of Neptune, you know. Um, not as high gravity, so pretty close to earth um, so we should get some good results on this one all right still having pretty good traction I definitely feel like we can get more speed pretty good on the turns Ooh, a little bit too much too much speed on that corner that's all right we can recover, we can recover. Not so sharp turn, we can gain some speed. And we have the S bin coming up here very shortly. I'll have to slow down for that one. All right, no issues. Looking good. This one might actually beat Jupiter. Very good handling. All right, long stretch. Here we go. Speed up. And into the sharp turn. A little bit too much. And get back on track. Luckily, there's no sand or dirt there. Yep, coming around to the final corner. This is where we can pump it full of gas. Go, go, go.
Nice. Just under Jupiter 2 with 141. All right. I did kind of park it in the trees here. Um, yeah. All right, Saturn. Lower gravity, 10.44. Yeah. This is, I believe, the closest one to Earth as we can get um, without it actually being Earth. just got a little bit more gravity so we probably got some better traction so we can take corners a little bit faster and with the reducing gravity we should be able to actually gain speed quicker too bad coming around to the s-bin beautiful speed nice sharp turn Ooh. could have definitely saved a second there so all right top speed and into the sharp turn Almost all the way on the road. All right. Going up to the last S bin and sharp turn. And full speed. Let's see if we can't get. Ooh, new record. One minute and 38 seconds. Not bad. Saturn, good stuff. All right. That was pretty good racing. Next, we have Earth with the 9.81. So, what cars are built for? I would assume this one would do the best out of all of them because that's where cars were made, was on Earth. <laughs> all right. Get some speed. First corner. Definitely a little more floaty than the last one. Less gravity means gonna be a little bit less friction. Definitely noticing that with the edges of the road. Coming up to the S bin. Definitely gonna have to overbrake on this one. All right, get a little bit more speed. And we can take this nice sharp turn. Perfect. And then we can go full speed. That's where we need the speed is right here. Then a little bit of braking and a turn. Okay, a little more braking was uh, needed there. It's all right, we can save time. All right, last S bin and hard turn. And straight away, go, go, go. You can do it. I believe in you. Earth with a minute 40. Not bad. It did come in behind uh, Saturn. Let's see what uh, Uranus and Venus have in store. They do have the same gravity at 8.87. So let's get this switched up here on gravity and we'll see if lower gravity means better speed. You know, better speed, better time, right? All right. Tires are definitely having a little bit more trouble grabbing the road. We're definitely getting more speed. We're definitely keeping the speed. I'm 
truck is definitely having a little bit of problem and yep that's where i've felt the problem and a good recovery not bad all right gain up that speed again this could be our best time yet Just gotta be careful not to go off-roading. Uh, this S-bin might be a little bit trouble. Oh, but we can handle it. We did lose a lot of speed on it, but I think we can make it up here. All right, coming into the sharp right. And speed, speed, speed. Although we have no problem here turning tight angle. All right, not bad. Last S bin coming around the corner, having real trouble keeping it on the road. It's very slippery. Yep, it's definitely slipping. All right, and then full speed. Go, go, go. All right, minute 42, not bad. It, it's not, it's still up there, but it's not the greatest. And I'm just gonna park it right here. All right, Mars is up next with the gravity of 3.71. Uh, it's pretty light. And also this is uh, part Mercury too, which is just like 0.01 difference. So I'm combining these two into one like I did with Uranus and Venus. All right. Let's see what half the gravity does. Ooh. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of uh, traction issues here. We got it. Oh, it's kind of floating. This is gonna be definitely more difficult to control. Sharp right, I'm not gonna make it into the grass. Maybe I can recover. Oh, I'm gonna lose a lot of time on this one. All right, not bad. Back on track, back on track. Pick up some speed here. Try to get a little bit of that time that we lost. I'm a little scared to take some of these corners, especially up on this S-bin that's coming up. Um, get a little bit more speed. We should be fine. Just worried about turning here. Yep. There's the grass. Good recovery. Tire's still having a hard time grabbing traction. They are overspinning. Right, this turn's not easy. All right, full speed ahead. I'm gonna have to like somewhat gas it, but not fully gas it, because then I just spin the tires and then I don't go as fast. All right, sharp bend. Yep, had a feeling. Into the tires. Ooh. That is going to eat up for time. Definitely a lot of uh, tire squealing. Just hoping the tires don't pop from all the friction of the road. Overheat them. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a shortcut here just to save on time. It's not like it's going to do much at all, but we will sure try. And we're in the grass. And we hit the wall twice. Okay, and we're turned around. We can recover. Almost there. The end's right there. Go, go, go. It's not gonna be the best time. Two minutes and 51 seconds. Yeah, not great. R slash Mercury. 
not the best. I, I'm actually scared of the next one, which is the moon, which is half of what Mars and Mercury are. It's at 1.62. So the moon's going to be, tw I want to say about twice as slick, well, half the gravity. So we're going to probably go off the road a lot more. All right. And we're off with tires squealing galore. Definitely one of those ones you can't just gun it right out of it. You have to kind of build up the speed. Problem is going to be taking these turns without floating off the track. Literally. I gotta turn into a balloon. It's definitely hard to gain speed here, and taking these turns make me really nervous, especially right here, where I'm going to hit the grass, and the wall, the wall again. Might be able to recover this. Definitely super floaty. And we have turned around. That's... <laughs> Yeah, there goes our time. I gotta turn around as quick as I can. Hitting the gas is literally doing nothing other than eating up the tires. Especially at this part where we need speed. to take this corner kind of lightly. I can't really get any more speed than this. Especially since we're running out of road. And we're slipping. Back on the road. Alright. Oh, here we go. Yep. Didn't think I was going to make that one. A little bit of damage on the front there. And we're spinning back around again. Yeah, you can definitely see the damage on the front there, front right. Alright. A little bit of a Yui. And we're back on the road. Let's try to get some more speed back. See if we can't save some time on this. Definitely not easy. Especially with the tires just yelling all the time oh yep here we go off the road again to the wall nice little bump hope you like sand all right gonna try to get speed it's not really doing anything i gonna have to rev it try to build it up in like increments of speed And then we got that sharp turn coming up. Um, probably shouldn't take this too quick. Definitely go off. Nope. I don't think I can save this. I wasn't even going that fast. And the tires. At least we didn't get turned around. Okay. Not as bad. Still keep going. Getting there into the last S Ben. Definitely gonna have to take the shortcut again because there's no way I'm not gonna hit a wall if I go that on the path. And as I thought, we were gonna go off the road into the sand. And someone to the grass. We're gonna just do a little bit of a spin real quick. Try to save it. Nope in the grass now we are completely turned around all right back on the road we're right there at the final stretch 
Should be able to get it under five minutes. Go red truck, go. You're almost there. There's the finish line. Not bad. Not great either. Four minutes and 53 seconds. Yeah, the moon's very rough. Pluto's gonna be even worse because it's it's like even half. And I lost a tire. Not sure where that tire came from. I guess it's the spare tire from underneath. Yep, there, there it goes. Oh. Yeah, that was the spare tire. All right. Second to last, we have Pluto at 0 0.58. Roughly, actually, it's about one third the moon. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not moving <laughs> very fast. Um, this one might take a minute. All right, tires are very squeaky, as always. It's very floaty. It's having a very hard time just going in a straight line and already off the road beautiful not even at the first turn we're off the road did a nice little spin oh kind of floating around kind of dangerous don't want to roll it we turn back the other direction okay all right we're back in Well, and we somehow turned around. And it does not move very fast backwards either. This is, <laughs> this is a hard time trying to make this thing move. Any bit of momentum just shoots the back end up and then it just skips the tires along the ground. I'll definitely tell you we don't want to drive on Pluto. Well, you know, minus the lack of oxygen, of course. Be kind of hard. But man, maybe we're with a different vehicle. I guess that's why rovers don't move fast. All right, I'm going a little bit of off-roading here save a little bit of time even though i don't think it's gonna matter because i'm probably gonna roll past this and we turned around i don't think i could save this i think we're gonna be forced to go the wrong direction we're gonna lose so much time Ugh, it's just like a tiny bit of momentum is just so hard to counter takes a good like 10 seconds to just stop moving kind of thing all right slowly over the grass because i don't want to float over it and land on the other side which might just happen i don't know all right try not to spin it try not to overcompensate either Ooh. All right, go, Mr. Trek. I know this is a horrible idea, but go. Build up the momentum. Maybe we can drive along the guardrails. That's probably a bad idea. Oh, yep. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great either. This might have been easier just to drive super slow and do this. We'll probably save two minutes on it.
Definitely having a hard time with the tires not making contact. All right, coming up to the S bin. I'm gonna have to like cut this super sharp and go super slow. My luck, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Yep, there it is. Off the road. Bump. Now, that door's a little bit uh, dinged up, but that's okay. We did lose the back, uh, <laughs> the back uh, windshield. All right. Ooh, ooh, nope. Oh, nope. This is bad. <laughs> I don't want to DNF here. Oh, come on. Flip over. All right. And are we safe? Safe. Okay. We're good. That was very close to being a DNF. All right. I'm surprised I made it this far, to be honest. I'm, I don't know how I haven't flipped over a fence or like flipped over and got stuck because it is a truck after all. I guess with not being able to go too fast, it's kind of hard to jump the fence. So we got that good. Let's see if we can't get some speed back here. Though that sharp turn coming up here is going to be quite the issue. like cruise control and just so just to like five or something all right let's see if we can't make this turn nope didn't think so i think only two wheels are touching the ground and zero back to two four bump the wall this poor truck i think it's hit almost every single part of it maybe like the rear driver's side hasn't been hit that let's not push our luck here all right i doubt we'll get much speed here all right tires still dragging come on truck you can do it full speed ahead you are not getting very far are you kind of in the grass should be fine. Probably not. Coming into the second to last sharp turn. I think if we take this slow, nope. We're gonna have to hit the wall because if I turn too much, we're gonna flip. Nope. All right, if there's a driver's license for the moon, I'm definitely not gonna be the one getting it. Oh, turn, 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 reverse power. Oh, what a save. Maybe I will get my moon or Pluto license. Oh, it's gonna take a little bit to get there. All right. Let's get out of this final stretch and make it to the end. It's almost, it's literally right there. Oh, this truck is having a very hard time. I don't know if it's because I hit so many things or just the angle. It's just with not enough friction with these tires not having like the weight of the vehicle pressing down on the tires to help it gain traction just float right off the road definitely have to take another shortcut this one's definitely not winning not by a long shot the moon came in about almost five minutes yeah we kind of I do think it will do better than the next one by probably quite a bit. All right, little red truck. We're going to take you slow around this corner because I don't need you flying off again. 
though I have a feeling you're going to still do it or you're going to roll. All right, final stretch. There it comes. Can we get at least a little bit of speed? I'll take a 35. gonna get under 10 please oop don't don't spin out we're almost there Whew. nine minutes of 33 seconds that was <laughs> that was quite the journey oh we'll see how much power i could get into it tires to the rescue not bad Definitely not ever driving on Pluto. Nope. All right, for the final one, zero gravity. I don't think I'm gonna get very far. Hopefully I can get a few feet. Um, it appears we were already floating off the ground. I forgot about that key point. Um, yeah, we're pretty much just going straight up. I hate to say this, but this one's probably gonna be a DNF. Yeah, this one's going to be a DNF. I, I think I'm going to fly into orbit. Well, anyway, here are the scores and places and times and gravity of each of the uh, different planets. Saturn coming in first, Earth, Neptune, Uranus, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Pluto, and the Sun and zero gravity both got DNFs. Pretty good race. Not bad. All right. Next time we might try a different vehicle or try different types of gravity. And with that, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, or morning, no matter where you are in the world. You're all beautiful people. See you then. Bye.